Well, there is a, uh, a fate currently up. Which is, we can very easily do right now. The heart of Sagoli. The heart of raviolis? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, the heart of Sagoli. Yep. Eat enough raviolis and they'll stop your heart. So, Eastern teleporting. Probably should have taken a chocobo, but oh well. Yeah. I don't have time to waste. All right. Um. Taking the chocobo to the fate? Yeah. Can you even control where they go? Don't they like run to another town or something? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, they're not, uh, they're not like rent them out. You have to. I'm almost there. Ugh. Elder Longhorns are extremely territorial and will attack anything which draws too close to their dens. This is fine when those dens are on the top of unscalable peaks, but when they lie within earshot of well-traveled caravan roads, things can become quite hairy. Drive the goats back to the mountains where they belong. That seems sinister. Get on back, goats! We'll teach those things where to live. Grr. Oh fuck, that's a big boss fight, dude. All the boat, all the goats are dropping like flies. Do I have? Do I have my thing activated? I did not. Shit. I, forgot, I didn't have my damage reduction turned on. And I need to put that somewhere where I'll stop pressing it on accident. Apparently. Maybe I need to turn on like the equivalent of like the World of Warcraft like right sidebar that you only use by clicking. Yeah, you could or do that. I have I have my uh, right sidebar set up to my uh, numpad. Fuck him up. This dumb Billy Bill goat. He's off on a different planet. Die. Is that it? Done. Ba boom. Oh, so so close. Not level gave, twenty. Yeah, that only gave me like three thousand experience. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still 10,000 more to go. I'm literally one kill away from it. Jesus. Axe. We could just Jeez. go to all the fates, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, fates are a pretty good way to get Ooh, some. Ooh, uh, that's a level 26 yes. fate. I don't know if we can handle yeah. it. Nope, uh, we not. No. No, yeah, all the fates are like level 26 and above. There's the level the 17 one over. that's. Yeah, the level 17 one up top. Uh, that's assuming oh, yeah. we get there in time. Eight yep. minutes. Oh, but it's good progress is fifty percent. Yeah. Shit! <laughs> run very fast. <laughs> Your cat, come on. Cat mounts. My cat Should doesn't move any percent. faster. I'm not a worgen. I don't have a travel form. A rad run on all fours travel form. That would be really cool if you did. Dude, that is the coolest thing. That's one of the coolest things in all of WoW. Is the fact that worgen. Instead of getting just a mount, run. you can just yeah. run fast by going into like this old fours mode. Yeah. Flying it will always be superior, but you know. Still oh, look cool. at this dude on his fucking T Rex. That's why we just need to have the Worgen sprout wings. Wait, how do you get a T Rex? That's pro that might be Anjanath. Mm. What? No, is that's that? not Anjanath. No. What boss? What bo boss battle is that? Or is it an event, man? It's probably an event. Oh, they have a four-seater mount. Oh, I want a four-seater. Oh, these are the guys from the intro that I never saw again. The Lancers? The game just sets up like these big evil reptile men when you're on the wagon, in the Skyrim wagon. And then you never see them oh, again yeah. in the story so far. It's like... Huh, well, can't wait to see when that comes up again, and then it's like, never. <clears throat> You're like getting ready to leave the zone, and you still haven't seen them yet. That should be it. Hey, only 2,000 yeah. experience. <laughs> Not Shit. level 20 yet. Nope. Stick them with the pointy end. That wasn't great. How much do quests uh, usually give us? That might have been... The quest might be worth more. 
Depends on the quest. Might I interest you in a chocobo? Oh, uh, I don't have the connected chocobo. Whoops. It's important to get them chocobo connections. Well, now I'm running back. Oh wait, someone said they had a four person mount. Pop it up, let's go. Wait, where do we gotta go, actually? Where are you trying to go, <clears throat> Drybone? That's where the quests are, presumably. Yeah, they have uh, a Final have... Fantasy 15 mount. We gotta get them into the party. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Nope, just look, and then... Mm -hmm. Wait, where's the thing? You have to oh, be have in to the, part the same party. Really? Yep. Well, who owns a party? You do. Invite him to the yeah. party. Yeah, man. Yeah. At this point, I'm just gonna be there already by the time you figure this out. Limit break. Shotgun! Fuck, is a That's limit fine. break. Oh my That's god, I'm, I'm sitting pose. I love this sitting pose. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> you need a party of four to have a limit break available? Playing music? Apparently. It is playing music. That's amazing. <laughs> it's playing it's playing like radio music. Hey, what's up, Keith? <laughs> Don't mind Joe's just running in style. <laughs> So what, what did you guys want to do? Um, this character's name is Choo Choo C. Where we're going. We just need to talk to all these people and figure out how to... We need level, hit level 20. What's the choke okay. quarter here? There's two to C. Uh, that's 3,000... Oh yeah, oh, oh it's less the experience going in, cool. Oh, here we go, uh, 3780. That's not too bad. Is he up top? There we go. Uh, what, what, uh, what's Looking for doing? a bit of work, are we? Well, it just so happens I'm looking for someone to put down some mongrels, seven of the beasts. The bloody things have nearly overrun the area to the southeast of here. They attack the locals, livestock, aught that moves. You shouldn't need the foul thing. You should. Uh, you needn't show the foul things any mercy. All right. The slay the dusty mongrels. All this right. Seems this seems so judgy. This seems very Wait. judgy. The dusty mm. mongrels. Wait, where's the ch oh? I have to get the chocobo porter. Uh, he's up. He's upstairs. There? Upstairs. He's upstairs. Yeah. I mean, or we can just, you know, yeah. get a lift. Um, That's all I'm doing. Oh, you mean do, by upstairs? Do you mean outside of the entire cave? Yeah, you got to go actually out upstairs. Uh, so, you, uh, yeah, upstairs, as you come up, there turn on that little lip. Yeah, there's that little lip, and then he's right there. I was wondering why the hell a chocobo thing would be upstairs. That's a weird place for that to be. There we go. Now I've met All this right. person. How do I... There we, uh, you gotta highlight them, ride uh, pillion, and then choose a seat. Yeah! <laughs> I <Or> technically fit! <laughs> I love this. This is such a great mount. Oh, oh yeah, this is. Is the, this is the song from Final Fantasy XV. I think it's, uh... Get those dusty mongrels. How do I... Uh, how do you get out? Uh, you could press in on the left stick. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh... Forget how to class. Okay, there we go. I accidentally changed my hotbars, which I didn't, haven't done on purpose in so long that I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> but now I'm back. Ah. And now I'm trying to select an enemy. Why is it so hard? No. Oh. It, it's a muscle memory you eventually get used to. It's good if A automatically selects the person I want it to select, but if that doesn't happen and I have to start having to try to use like D-pads or something, it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, why is it selecting allies? No! <laughs> Fuck, I accidentally, like, Z-targeted myself. <laughs> How do I un-Z-target myself? <laughs> uh, B and then A again. I just mean, like, the, I just mean, like, you always have to do all this mental shit to figure out how to get back to just the, what should be, like, the really, really quick process of targeting your enemy. That's a bit of a back and forth. That's like it's oh, more boy. extra thoughts than you want to have when you're on the most common actions. Uh, 
Oh. I need to unmap the zoom, the lo the zoom in completely. Yeah, map that to uh, enemy targeting or ally targeting, and then map A or map A to yeah. Map the push it on right to people targeting, and map A to uh, enemy targeting. We're done with dusties. Oh shit. Yeah, they have a Q above their head if we need to kill them. I was trying to like All count right. up. <laughs> Back we go. I love this car. <laughs> Your it's arm hangs out over the so, leg. It's a lot of arm. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Oh, change pose works in the car? Does it? What? How, oh how my god. Back, uh, backslash pose, or you can go to uh, emote and pose. Boop. I don't think I ever want to change my pose, though. I love it. So Thanalan's plagued by seven fewer Mongols. Is it? Excellent. I lost my love to a pack of Mongols three years past. We, we were to be wed. What? They tore him apart. When he finally chased them off, my love was in seven pieces. Since then, I've asked every adventurer I see to pass through here to slay the seven beasts. My vengeance is unceasing. But if I could spare just one other bride to be the suffering I have known, then all will have been worth it. That's fucking brutal. That's some, like, next and level... Fucking uh, eye for an eye, but, like, on yeah, repeat no forever. That had a twist at the end. All right. I didn't expect the genocide route to be the outcome of this entire quest. All right, do a squeak voice for Tutusi. Uh, who's on this one? Whoever wants to do a squeak voice for the baby uh, boy. I suppose I can do this. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to quite do that. <laughs> Are you come to grieve, sir? Have you lost someone dear? Ah, I see. Simply another fair adventurer come to our outpost. Well, in that case, I have an adventure for you. But say you make for the plains to the east and carve me up five cuts of sirloin from some of the... Oh, jeez, that's a name. Myotragus Nannies. That's a name. <laughs> that's Pretending the one that wrote my hunting log. <laughs> yeah. Pretending... <laughs> Damn it. Uh, you had to do that, didn't you? Pretending a wounded man at the inn who's close to death. We would like nothing more than to give him a feast of nice, juicy Myotragus sirloins for what might be well his la or might well be his last meal. Once you have the sirloins, take them directly to Sister Zozuru at the inn. I can't believe I said that right the first time around. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then after this, we'll be high enough level to do our uh, class quest. And then we can <laughs> fuck off Bye. forever. Oh, oh no! Mage. What? Hey. <laughs> We didn't need them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just blue mage suicide. Things. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> there were a lot of nannies in this area. Where'd you go, Keith? I'm off to find the nannies. Oh. Yeah, no, pose didn't work. Well, Might only be the back seat. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, you're going the wrong way, by the way. It says they're over there, but I, I'm pretty sure I fought them, like, over here. Yep. Uh, no. Flag on map. Oh, uh, so. yeah, there are some nannies over there, yeah. Yep. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're all over this region. Because this is where I did my hunting quest. Then here's some more nannies. Or, Would you like some uh, more nannies? There's nannies oh wait, here. That's a, f that's a fate over here, though. Fate to oh, kill okay. nannies. Damn. How ironic. Endless nannies. Oh no, those are billies. Oh well. I think they're just grab that in a second. I think they're just kind of intermixed. It might be the gender split or something. Yeah, billies are the boys. Nannies are the girls.
We've got sirloins for days. Right. Now we can consume them. <laughs> Having fun over there, Andrew. I'm trying. <laughs> he's just he's just covered in billies. God, how many of these billies are there? Many. I see Too that. many billies. Too many billies spoil the soup. <laughs> One might call it a steakhouse of billies. <laughs> I'd eat there. Billy Steakhouse? That does sound... <laughs> that sounds uh, Pretty official. trustworthy. Yeah. Difficulty rank unlocked. Excuse me? Come again, better sir. Than, better than Texas. Seeing a Texas state house in California doesn't really still me with confidence. <laughs> like, <laughs> sir, well, you are don't you even lost? Know what, yeah, it's like you don't even know what state you're in. How am I going to trust you make a good steak? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we still need to kill nannies? Yeah, we got one more. Wait, here's one right no. here. What? Oh, oh, I'm set up. We're good. I'm not, I'm not set apparently, so. You fool. I will kill. I will kill one nanny. You diverged from us in order to fight the billies. I did. Well, now we've completely overshot our goal. We haven't even turned the quest okay, in yet. Go. All right. Now we're good. Oh, All maybe. Right, oh, go. I guess, oh, I guess we haven't overshot our goal. I'm a little ahead of Effie. Effie, who has 404 health. Oh, wait, oh, no, wow. I have 404 health. Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say. I have 353. Wah, wah. I really wish there was a way to get this mount outside of the event. Like, I wish there was a way to get it again. Wait. Oh, we have to go to the Oh, end. inside. Inside. Oh, nope, that's the merchants. You can go through the door over here. It's the far, far end of this place is the end. No. This is the Zozuru. Ah, uh, more Where doors. Are... Where's the sister at? In here? There she is. Not it. I'll do it. <laughs> Please, lower your voice. What bring? What business brings you? Uh, here's some meat, lady. <laughs> <laughs> My old target sirloins. I take it to 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 see has sent you. Thank you for your efforts, my friend. But I fear you are too late. The man for whom these stakes were meant succumbed to his wounds just moments ago. Pray do not despair. Uh, he feasts with Fall now, and Fall has seen the good in you this day. Thanks, lady. Eating a little meat was gonna fix him? No, it was his last meal. I, oh, okay. I was like, this. Just, I feel like this was always doomed to fail. He just it was wanted doomed something. To fail. Yeah. yeah, he just wanted I to know. eat something we'll good we'll cure him died. with fucking chicken fried steak. <laughs> Slap on those bruises. Sounds very anime. And yeah. And level up. Yeah. Bring out your dead too. You're not going to read his lines? Uh. <laughs> oh. Crap. Dead, is he? <laughs> he did a good thing, friend. No use fretting over the order in which things pass. What matters is that they do pass, and nothing that passes goes unseen by the gods. There is a graveyard just near Drybone. A lot of folk bring their dead and dying this far. Many just dump them here to, to spare themselves the trouble and cost of a burial. This poor soul, at least, had family that rushed to his side. Count him lucky for that. Twas just his time to heed Thal's call. Best to let it go and move on. There's business that needs doing. Plots, graves, embalming, tombstones. Nothing in life is free, not even death. 
More that's, experience. Uh, that's a pretty uh, unfortunate thing to fucking have to say. edgy. <laughs> right? Even in death, it costs money. Well, maybe that's a bad society. All right, yeah. now we go back. <laughs> Last quest. Ho. Oh. Return to Ul 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 Dad. <laughs> Time to split up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Party, maybe, never heard of him. Bye. Maybe all of our uh, class quests will conveniently point at the same location and we can be friends again. When does that ever happen? Never. Exactly. Go to the other side of the continent. Yeah. Go to the solitary land where lonely people go to die. You know what it's, what it's probably going to be? It's it's not only is it going to be on the other side of the planet, it's going to be a solo quest. Oh, I just got to go to the co uh, coffer and coffin. Uh, I don't... Oh, it's you, Zev. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything to teach you, if I ever did at all. You're far better off trading under Chuchuto. You'll find her over yonder. Just... Just leave me be. Hmm. I was so hopeful that seeing you improve in leaps and bounds would spur Ma uh, Master Hammond out of his doldrums. It seems more and more it must be done. Perhaps the end result is not so important as the matter in which you get there. In other words, if you were to train precisely as Master Hammond once did, overcome the self-same challenges that he did in his youth, I dare say it would stoke the fires of his fighting spirit. Listen well, Zev. Master once told me that he used to refine his combinations by provoking deadly creatures into unleashing his, their fury upon him. For this purpose, he often went to the southern part of Drybone to fight the hornet clouds there. To this day, the tree trunks he, he struck into the that he struck to stir the vilekin from their hives bear the marks of his fists. I want you to seek those trees. Do as Master Hammond once did. Strike them with a boat bootshine combo. Fight the hornet clouds that emerge. Once you have felled enough of the creatures to collect three of their stingers, return here and present them to Master Hammond. They will remind you of better days, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> I've got to go What's right back to Drybone. <laughs> wow. What an unfortunate situation. Good thing somebody gave me 300,000 gil. <laughs> it, does, it does come in handy. Yep. Yeah. I have to go punch Maybe trees. Maybe it should be the same guy who's following us right now. I'm not entirely sure, though. It might be. Uh, I think that was a different person. Maybe. I'm not 100% right. sure. I gotta speak to some witnesses. Witness one. And... Hey, you seen uh. a crime up here? <laughs> Hello, can we discuss crimes? <laughs> okay, and now I gotta go all the way back up. Hey, uh, point of I swear this quest is just I'm making trying to think me of why I don't like the the animal ear people, and I'm remembering Wait, it's like oh what? it's because they look like they're straight up from Ruby. Oh, like they oh. look like the faunus they from like Ruby faunus, exactly, yeah. and I'm like because because it, it could be especially because of like the anime like reduced number of like visual like right, right visual down. characteristics they're all like smooth and simple yeah. looking and it's oh, like oh it's Ruby, like, they're just Ruby. <laughs> God, I've watched that video three times now. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah, <laughs> I've only watched it once. I, I, it's I'll get really good. I'll get around to I it. Keep... I, I end up watching every H Bomber guy video like three plus times eventually. Like I've watched it's the, just, I've already watched the Sherlock video probably three or four times, and it's like three hours long. Yeah, I don't. I watched I, the pathologic video twice the week it came out. Yeah, I, I did watch the pathologic video twice because I watched it once while I was semi distracted, and by the end of it, I was like, actually, he had a lot of good shit to say. I kind of want to hear that again, but not distracted. And Ruby was the kind of that way. Like the first time I watched it, I was kind of just working and half listening. And there were a lot of parts I was like, oh my god, he's just fucking destroying this thing. And then <laughs> I watched it the second time, I was like, oh no, he just kind of like shit all over it justifiably. That's even worse. That's upsetting. <laughs> both Sham was... Shammy and H Bomber Guy videos both like really reward rewatching because uh, yeah. they're dense, which is good because they only come out once every fucking eight months. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Like, they, oh, they only get, every time they make a new video, the next one's only longer to come out than the previous ones were. I'm actually, I... I'm, so I'm that, hoping, I'm hoping Shammy speeds yeah. up. <laughs> not that, the whole, like, uh, overworked people or so on. It's just, you know, it's just, an, it's, it's not about, like, the uh, unhealthy life-work balances that I'm encouraging or anything. It's just the, like, just the yearning for, like, please. Yeah. Please, sir, can we have another? <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, like, so thirsty. Because yeah. Shammy, Shammy only recently right, just made that top 10 video, where I'll the most recent video before that was the one that got me into Overwatch. <laughs> that's how Which long is, it had been. <laughs> that's terrible. I'm, like, I'm at like 200 plus solo episodes mission. in Overwatch. All right. What's happening, Evie? I got a solo mission I gotta do. Have fun. I'm killing yeah, a Gila monster because he fucking slighted me. Oh. How dare he? Oh no. Uh, yeah, there's, I, I always wonder too about stuff, like certain, certain videos like that. Cause take for instance, uh, like H bombers guys, H bomber guys video wasn't nothing. It was a very in-depth three hour critique of, so what's uh, John Tron's excuse? <laughs> racism. But they, they take like the, that long uh, to come out, but then it's just me like, huh, huh, look, I've looked at a funny clip and I go like at the camera and I'm like, oh, it's crazy, huh? huh, 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 huh. Oh, Damn. I mean, have you, and then have you and that's the whole video. John? The whole video is just him going like, whoa, crazy about a video that was have just funny seen, without him. <laughs> have you seen John Tron's like friends? That's kind of what they do. <laughs> Except they, you know. Look at this. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. And, like repeat they, what he says and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? What happened to you? Are you okay? His interview with the kid I miss from him. the show was <laughs> actually good, but that was because he had no clips to change to. <laughs> like when he actually had yeah. to interact with another person, there was some really good one where he was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a thing," and he like busts out a fucking printer and prints out a metal, and <laughs> it's like, "Wow, that's a really good, really good gag." I just miss when he would write jokes. But yeah, instead I do, of being I like, do. "That thing's crazy, huh?" I miss, I do miss John Chan. I wish he'd come home. This suit's a George uh, Armani. My dad knows him. <laughs> I still, I, I still, really? I, the one, what? The, the one joke that still kills me is from the, oh fuck, uh, um, from the, the cruise. <laughs> I wasn't watching my health. Cruising, I was still being attacked USA, apparently. But the, uh, the sports, like the California sports or whatever, with the, the, the jar tips over. He's like, Dad, <laughs> like, Dad. <laughs> That's so good. Uh. Ah, did oh that's convenient. Dying brought me back to town. Or that's where I was gonna go anyway. <laughs> Jokes even, on you, game. Like, even what I like a joke that what that was written for him was still really was still really well delivered compared to new stuff, which was like when he was reading the t uh, the Titanic. He's like t t t Titanic. <laughs> it's like oh. Oh no. I've got to read quests now. What is it now? Can't you leave a feeble old man in peace? But I brought you sticks. There we go. Those oh, balls. Those are hornet stingers. You you trained as I once did out in Drybone. <laughs> Those hornet clouds were right pesky buggers. I fair lost count at the times they stung me though I remember the uh places well enough the pain is nigh unbearable but I always stood my ground ah the memories of my younger days come flooding back what I wouldn't give to relive them Zev I want you to fight me right here right now make me remember what it's like to be young again to have to nothing to lose and everything to gain damn I think I'm gonna kill this man Seems like a bad idea. Level 24? Oh, I might be in trouble. I have to be alone. That first message was weird. Unable to execute command while between areas. Sup? Ready or not, here I come. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm destroying him. Oh no. Oh no, was I supposed to let him win? Oh no, I milled- I murdered him. He's dead. <laughs> oh wait, he leveled up. Yes, it's starting to come back to me. He made the little level up noise. You won't have it so easy this round, Zev. That's- alright, let's fuck- let's do this. Yeah? Yeah? I'm just weaving in place because, as far as I know, placement just does nothing. I'm like, I'm doing something! Look how much something I'm doing. Because he's- I don't think I can really manipulate around him. He's just gonna look at me. Directly. Have you no respect for the elderly? I will beat you to death with my bare hands. Yes! My strength returns! Come on, let's go one more round. Uh, hopefully more than one more round if you're gonna catch up with me. Again? He is not damaging me. This poor guy. I, am, I definitely do not have to use my heals. I feel so, so alive, which is ironic because I'm going to die now. <laughs> <laughs> Yatta! <laughs> Gods, I haven't felt this invigorated since... since forever. When I'm fighting you, it's as though I'm fighting my younger self. Mayhap there's still hope for, th for these old bones. I'll make my comeback yet, see if I don't. <laughs> what are you doing, old man? Learn how to walk? Your Wegfar White Axe. Ain't, ain't none call me that in ages. Nay, not since the day you defeated me on the Blood Sands. I gave up prize fighting after that humiliation, but it weren't long till I found a place in Alcran. Your boy Rurokuta works for me now. Imagine me. Imagine me surprised when I learned to, he used to train under the mighty Holy Fist. But Holy Fist ain't nothing but a name these days, so I'm told. How do you sleep at night, knowing how flaccid you become? I imagine being completely flaccid makes it easier to sleep. <laughs> of course, if you're having trouble not enough, you could always try a whiff of somnus. I'll even give you a complimentary sample. Just like as not, a daughter and old sort like you won't ever wake up again. <laughs> shut your mouth, Wegfar, or I'll shut it for you. Now, now, let's be civilized for a moment, eh? We're old friends, after all. And friends help each other out. You mentioned making a comeback just now. If you're serious about it, I'd be glad to lend a helping hand. By way of motivating you, how about we have a little room, have us a little rematch? Of course, it takes place in public, just like old times, and there should be a fitting purse as well. Let's say the winner gets the pugilist guild. What? That's ridiculous, Master. You're not obligated to take him up on this. Ha! Huh. This must be your little nursemaid. Rest assured, after I've taken over the guild, I'll keep her on as my personal assistant. <laughs> Creepy. 
Say the word, I'll snap his neck. No one will know. Or everyone will know. Pick one. <laughs> D do you really mean to fight him? Have no fear, Chichuto. Master. Zev, I don't mean to put undue pressure on you. But the fate of the guild rests upon your shoulders. I don't believe this! Listen to me, Chichuto. I know I can do this. I just need Zev to keep getting stronger. As far as he's... As, as he's been doing so far. Fighting him reminds me of who I used to be. I'm confident I can be that man again. Do I need to come back when I'm level 25 or something? Is that where we're going? I'm amused by the little, the little comedy cutscenes. It's nice having a character that ha like have characters on screen that pose and react in a MMO, as opposed to just kind of reading endless reams of text. If you're feeling apprehensive about this rematch business, I don't blame you. I'm not blind to reality. If I were to face Wegar as I am now, I'd be down for the count in a matter of heartbeats, if not lying dead in a pool of my own blood. But I'm determined to win, and I can with your help. Your presence sets my fighting spirit to raging, Zeb. So keep it your training. I promise I'll do the same. When you're grown stronger, return here, and we'll both continue our lessons. Oop. Ooh. Those are big plus numbers there. Please give me a plus five. Yeah. Dun 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 dun! Recommended gear. Stronger fist weapons too. And I have a stupid top on, but that's fixable. There we go. And the next one's level 25, as predicted. Alright. I'm oh. back in the land of the living! And the next oh. quest is level 25. Nice. Nice. Well, I could do with a party invite now. There is a party currently. And the party leader. Hold on. Uh, I need to talk to this guy, and I don't know if it's going to spark anything. Yeah. Sparks might fly. Oh, you're right here. Hello. <laughs> I am right here. Hello. Just walk okay, right up. It did not spark anything. So You've got some sort of terrifying invite. old Final Fantasy character walking around with you. Oh yeah, my little uh that little nightmare goober. He's a fighter. <laughs> I prefer I prefer That's black what the running mage. sounds like. Yeah, where's where's black mage? Uh Here, I can be super meta. Oh no. Is it going to be yep. <laughs> the girl with the very Have you seen her clothes? They're fucking confusing. <laughs> Those are the default clothes that you start with. She's got like a belly window, but then she has like a like film over her belly window, like a veil, but it's a veil you can see through and it's over her belly. And I'm like, what's happening? Yeah. I'm confused. There's so many details that I don't understand. Uh, where is the, let's see, where is the airship landing anyway? Let's see. Uh, it should be on steps and it should be at the, or is it not at steps? I think it's inside of the... Oh no, I'm wrong. I think it's... Take the wellhead lift to the airship landing. The wellhead lift. Right. Uh, I believe that... That's in up That's up top by Alchemist Guild. So you go to the Alchemist Guild, and then you go... Uh, yeah. Oh wait, I was already there. Oops. Uh, sorry, the Chamber of Rules is probably closer. But it's in that top area. Let's see. Am I anywhere near my goal? 
I'm unsure. <laughs> I'm honest, uh, it's telling me to go back to the steps of Nald. But when I was in steps of Nald, I didn't see a error. I don't know. What? I think the maps might be a little too noisy, so it's just hard to like pinpoint where your objectives are. Like it can be like right there on the map, but you can't see it. Oops. Shit. Did you take it? I was trying to open the, the uh, Aether right thing and I accidentally clicked on the first menu option without seeing what it was. Now I'm just waiting for it to load. I'm back at the Aether right place. All right. Oh yeah, it always defaults to a the first option is always Aether right Plaza. Gonna maybe go all the way over there. Am I missing a? I just don't see any icons on my map that tell me where to go. It's at the very top. Uh, at the very top, there says the, the wellhead lift. Just zoom in. <laughs> you have to zoom into at, the at very the top. Top of what? Oh, okay. So go to the. Uh, oh, there's a wellhead lift. Yeah. Why'd you call it the top? Well, Hastings Strip is the top of the map, technically. It's like the bottom right corner. <laughs> what? Oh, there's one on the very bottom, too. Yeah, if you go through the alleyway, there's one down there. I was talking about if you go to uh, Hastings, uh, Hastings Strip, there's a way to get there. Isn't that also on the bottom? Oh, well. Lift attendant. Hello. Airship landing. Yes. Yes. We've done it. Oh, hey, I see someone familiar. There we go. I have arrived, and Effie is doing crafting. Uh. Hello. <laughs> uh, so the quicker taps are for quality increase. He's gone. Sorry, I have to do a quest real quick. Or not a quest, the fight. Me. Yeah, whatever. I can just... These are really specific. You. you can literally pick what your face currently is. That is very <laughs> specific. What? You can pick... Not like can you pick what oh, face you're yeah, currently you're... making, you can pick like which eye is winking. Yeah, the expression. What? You can close. You can close your eyes. That's that's what a sad. That's what a sad cat looks like. Amazed, annoyed. Pucker up. <laughs> that's supposed to be what kissing looks like, I guess. I guess these are all the faces you would occasionally see during matches. I mean, during cutscenes. I guess. So, yeah. just don't, so you yeah, can just you manually can. activate them. There's several different variations of smugness, which is funny. Hey man, sometimes you gotta be smug depending on the occasion. <laughs> not gonna lie, not even sure if I know what simper means. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you there. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that I have a AoE hit and it's uh oh yeah, there it's it really is. strong. That emote is why I picked this voice. This is the only one that actually tries to do like a beast sound. <laughs> I was like, ho, ho, ho. No, the, the furious sound is one of the ones that plays when you're picking your voice. Oh. And everyone else was like, ha, ha, ha. 
It's like, all right, two, they all just sound like anime boys. Yeah. Doesn't really fit well with the aesthetic. Yeah, my voice is the the one that sounds most, uh, she sounds like a really mean anime character. Should be like the smug, uh, Hime type. She's like, ho ho ho. All right, and now I can return. Pew. All right, Ethernet, Gladiator Guild. Tell me that I'm a good boy, Bunny, and send me <laughs> on the way. There's some good poses in here. Ooh. Air quotes? <laughs> what? <laughs> how does that even... How do you think to include that? Your character can do finger quotes. <laughs> that's one of the emotes. Oh, that's it's, pretty good. These are so specific. There you are. We have this voice acting is why I picked this, uh... This voice, Andrew. Uh, shit, where is it? Uh, Furious. Oh, wow. He, like, tried. <laughs> and then, then I then I tried the fucking laugh, and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, this voice actor. <laughs> this is a dumb motherfucker. All right, who's gonna voice Eleanor? Eleanor. Got it. I'm terrible with female voices. All right. Greetings, man. This is the reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Limosa. If I'm not mistaken, you are the Flame General's envoy, a uh, hero, yes? Highway Skies is at your service. Will you be flying with us today? Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe. Uh, is it time to meet Sid? No, not yet. If only. But if only, plank. he's here. Or there's, he always, th there's always a Sid. There's always a Sid and there's always an airship. In Final Fantasy Type-0, Sid was a war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> he usually is. Oh. Attention all passengers, the ship bound for Limsa Limosa is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Smile. Why are we out of here? Uh... Look at that little thief. Yes, because we can totally see you from. <laughs> we do not believe in seat. We do not believe in seat belts. Nope. I mean, it's Why like do we a need bus. A seat belt? If you There's get an accident, it. you're probably just dead. Yeah. Nope. Somebody's gonna have to voice that. Huh? I'm not. <sighs> when we fe first meet, be 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 when we first met beneath the surface. This, the beauty of the Sultan Tree, I'm good at this. I sense there was something unusual about him. I wonder if if they will feel the same. Godspeed, Zavs! Godspeed! Even though it's not the voice, but you're the same conversation, everything's fucked. If I'm right, they'll be singing your praises from here to Farish before, before wrong. May you always walk in the light of the crystal. I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> Just a little bit. My tail's so Father. flappy. Yeah, my ears are very flappy. <laughs> yeah, same here. What? Hello, pre-rendered looking so company. So you have horns? Spaceship. This looks suddenly like a much different game. Like a different console gener- This looks like a PS2 game.
bitter taste of defeat lingers still. Fifteen years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Egrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among words, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Pretty fucking rad, actually. Yeah. You were not joking when you said that the cutscenes just start name dropping 12 new things each time with as if you know what they are. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm just like, what? Like we You've just got, played we just, all the other, you know, 13 games before this, right? We just finished the banquet party where they just the guy just says a bunch of shit. Lighted realm riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are on one mind, Lord Van Balzar. I'm realizing they're just now introducing the villains. Yeah. We yep. haven't we haven't had villains this whole time. We've, there's just been random assholes. Yep. Well, you know, you go from like petty local problems to petty world problems. They look like what you get when you get the like thing you see, you see on Twitter or whatever. That's like, wow, the Final Fantasy art director made their own version of Darth Vader, <laughs> which I think yeah. is a real thing that happened actually. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. My, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. <laughs> Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek. So Red Ornstein has a gem in his forehead. Mm-hmm. 
Gotcha. I'm, I mean, that's I the important wanna... part of this plot, right? <laughs> that's what I was supposed to take from that cutscene. I don't want to say anything, but like, yeah, he's got to think. It's kind of, it was kind of hard not to stare at it the entire time. Is that like his weak spot? If you hit him right there, does it go into his brain? Probably. There's like a hole in the skull, it, right? I think it's just a pimple. Uh, You're a big one. I'm gonna have to rewatch the cutscenes that happened this session like two more times to figure out what the fuck they're talking about. We're full in like back at the beginning of Final Fantasy 13, where there's like, oh, yeah. the fallacy of Lacoon with the Lacy and the Seeth, and I'm like, it's excuse a, me. It's a Final Fantasy game. Of I'm a pink girl on a weird... train. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hey, I, I just want to find my sister. Do you, do you guys do yeah. you guys know what happened to my sister? And it's like, yeah, but have you heard of the foul seas? I no, I don't care. Just <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and more importantly, I have no idea what you're saying because the game never. Final Fantasy VII just didn't explain what anything meant. You had to look at the glossary, and the sooner you did All that, right. the better, because otherwise you just would never learn what they were talking about. Other side, and then talk to this lady. Ah, you must be the envoy from Udal. Welcome to Limsa Limosa, Madam Admiral. What? Hello? Blow his win. I think it's Blow his win? I think it's Blow his win? Blow's win? Blow's win awaits your arrival. Uh, sure. Oh, it's stupid. <laughs> stupid name. Uh, Oh no, it's not the toy box. You rewatch. Uh, you can rewatch cutscenes using the uh, the, the log. journal. Yeah, this yeah. is a journal. You are the olden uh, envoy. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa. The admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the crow's lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Xanthael. He will be pleased to show you in the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Oh, so we're probably dumping every character we've ever met so far, huh? Alright. Because now it's time world. for all three, like, worlds to mix together. Yep. Shit. Uh, do I click on the door or something? This is the you gotta, no, you gotta area. click on the guy. Oh, shit. You have to talk to him. You always talk to people to get things done. Except for when you don't. Like when we boarded the airship. Uh, you started to talk to a person aboard the airship. Yeah, but then he just like clicked on the glowy spot on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally when you click on the person to, to travel, you won't ever do that again. They'll just automatically teleport you to the place. <laughs> so I'm, I think I'm at Bulwark Hall. Yep. Uh, are you sure? Yep. I don't see you yet. No, I told I them to take me either. to Bulwark Hall. I don't, I don't see you. You might have went to Drowning Wench. Um, no, it says Bulwark Hall right there. I'm gonna sync up with this gem. Uh, what? Oh, wait, where okay. are you? You walked out real quick to. Yeah, but I don't see him. Oh, there you are. Hello. Yeah, he walked ah. out real quick to get the gem. I, I asked the lift uh. to take me to Bulwark Hall, and it took me right, right here, like in this b by, by this big pillar room that you guys just left. That's odd. Oh That's yeah, odd I just didn't yeah. see you on the thing. Oh yeah, you guys were at this guy, huh? Xanthael. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I just didn't spot him at first. There's something about the icons that are like too... I don't know... Garnished. For me to notice. It's not yeah. as clean as like an, ex like an exclamation point and a question mark. Like, oh, there it is! Yeah. I get that they wanted the same thing, but just obviously couldn't for probably legal reasons. Almost everything is a gold circle with a circle with a green circle. I mean, sorry, a gold a gold ring that's ornate with a blue ring inside of it with another symbol on the side of that that's also gold, and they all look like that, <laughs> but they yeah. mean different things. It's not great. It wants to be Zanthael. Oh, I got it. I bet we see him more. Greetings, sir, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the missive you carry. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies, but cannot afford to be complacent, you understand. Please, step this way.
Enter. So the silver-tongued merchant send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the Uldans place great faith in you. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from Thanalan? Oh, and then there goes the dialogue. <laughs> oh, <c> <laughs> it's just suddenly gone mid conversation. Oh, yep. A memorial <laughs> service to honor the fallen. Heaven hells, has it been five years? Has it been five years? Buy a new yeah. outfit. <laughs> no, they said it was 15 years ago, wasn't it? Buy, definitely. Put, put that in the wash. No, no, that was five years ago, apparently. Oh, wait, the, drag, the dragon cutscene yeah. was 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You're already getting your shit mixed up, Keith. You're already losing yeah, the Yeah, we, we have the, we have, apparently those are flashbacks <laughs> to two different wars. Yeah, apparently. Both of five which I have no context since, for. Since the Garlean Empire sought to wrest Ero, uh, Eros, uh, Erosia from our grasp, it was an answer to the imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eor Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlmod w- uh, Gar- Garlmod? Garlmod? Garlmod. Gabomon. L. It's an L in there, not an I. But Garlichan was not, uh, was not <laughs> content to wager all on a simple contest of martial fight- or uh, martial might. They had an, uh, they had other plans. The Meteor Project. Legan, Legan, Legatus, Nail, Van, Darnus. <laughs> like, darn this Hells. name. <laughs> Hells take him. Intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon, Dalamud, from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we matched our forces to the Cartanu Flats and there met the Vilith Imperial I think region in battle. I, I think, think it's, or is I that sixth? Wolf. I think that's the. Oh yeah, oh, yeah no, that is the, the seventh the imperial, imperial legion. legion. Oh, that's horrible seventh to write imperial. that way. Yeah. This yeah game, why would you write it like that? What? I think this game actually might be more dense than Pillars of Eternity. <laughs> Look how many fucking names were in that paragraph. Yeah. And I don't know what Never. any of them are. I don't know a single Never. one of them. Have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartanu? And I have seen full many. I didn't even know they were trying to bring a moon. How many moons has this place got? Jesus Christ. Uh, they throw I a think, moon on people? I think there's three moons. What do we got to do? I kill Chewbacca? Three, I, think. I don't know. I want to say Chewie, is that a moon? <laughs> <laughs> Chewie, that is a moon. <laughs> what a plot twist on the That's No Moon. But thought we gave, uh, but thought we gave no quarter, sparing not one on, uh, ons? Is that a word? I, what is that? Ounce? Is ounce? I, I think it's supposed to be ounce, but... But it's like that, italicized and not ounce. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the equivalent of an ounce, I guess, in this... I don't feel like you would misspell universe. the word that's purposely italicized. That would be yeah. really foolish. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. But it might mean the Bad. same thing. Probably. Yeah. Bear not one ounce of effort. We could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the Elder Primor Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell, uh, eighth hell of Eorzea. I at least know that name, but that's because I have pre-existing knowledge. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies far fared little better. Tw uh, Twas as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot de well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. This is what Even as I steeled myself for, for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. 
When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. knowing. Where Archeon uh, Lue still, uh, uh, were Archeon Lue still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want him uh, want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nations struggle to recover from the devastation, the beastmen call forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Pardon you? I am a beast man. Could we be mm -hmm. a little less racist in our introduction of you? Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Pretty sure I'm one of them. You mind? Damn it all. We need champions to replace with those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea, and this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. I, Rabuan, is that how you say it? Rabuan? Robin? Rajan has the right of it. I accept his proposal. Do you, need those goggles <laughs> Do you need those goggles inside, bud? Is it really windy in here? What's happening? Does this feel like they must restrict his vision a lot? Right? Oh, I mean, so does that salute, but they still do it for some reason. He looks like he's gonna give himself a concussion whenever he salutes. Yeah, he really does. I like how the other guys saluted by putting their hands literally in their faces. Like, <laughs> they oh, were I just, just covering their I just faces. Read, I just registered what her, what, is, what her name is. Merlb? Merlb? Merlchan? Merlwibe. Your duty is here, is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Flame General receives my reply. You travel next to uh, Gridania, yes? Oh. Pray give my regards to the Elder Seed Seer. Oh, and tell her the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest, and one in poor taste. But I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, hero. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Wait, are we going back on the plane? <laughs> yep. Glad we stopped by. Okay, do we thanks. Work, do, we work, do we work for a modern tech company? <laughs> Basically. Just endless fucking well. flights. All right, back to the airship landing. Well, yep. I grab I grabbed the crystal at least, so. Yeah, that's all that matters, really. That's why that's why the crystal is right there. Yeah. Uh. Limsa lominsa. Oh oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh oh. Oh Limsa maguda. <laughs> Solo. Seriously, what is Solo. with these names, man? How do you even pronounce this? I I don't know. Why don't you go talk to the weirdo uh, who makes Lenoflo? all these names? Len Lenof. This is a no Hello, flow Lenoflo. zone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Aren't you the airship ticketer? Greetings, oh. sir. This is the counter oh, for God. passengers traveling to Gridania. Oh, Pleasure no, to sorry. serve you again, sir. Are you ready to Wait. board the airship to Gridania? Again? <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess, lady. What do you mean no. again? Let's watch the entire cutscene again. Well, we saw her on the way in. He... They're two different people. Or are they? Gang. Mm. Gang plank. Oh, uh, yeah. It'd be nice if we could be a party in these cutscenes. Nah. You're, it's only one hero, remember. I like how it's just I'm the one passenger on the entire airship, and the airship has no seating. You just have to surf it. <laughs> yeah. It's like a monorail, but in the sky. Yeah. You gotta get be exhausted at some point just standing in the open, but you can't like sit down or like pass pass out or anything because you might go like careening off the side of it or something. <laughs> or, there's, or there's no rails. <laughs> It's also impressive that the uh, the the landing gear is always down. Yeah, like we arrived at a different time of day. <laughs> yeah, it's dark now. I mean, 
They're not exactly quick, so I'm not too surprised. They see me loading. And loading. <clears throat> Are you still loading? Yep. There what? we go. Arrivals. You must be the envoy from Olda. Welcome to Gridania, sir. The Elder Seed Seer awaits your arrival. Need landing area. Absolutely, get me out of yeah. here. Where in the seven hells is that woman? This is random people wow. yelling. There's random characters yelling around us. Yeah. Greetings, good sir. You are the old un envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nofika's altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand, where the Elder Seed Zero waits. Okay. Cool. Sup? Where do Bruh. we go? I don't know, I'm gonna go to the- oop. We have to go downstairs go or something? Uh, I'll go upstairs. Where? Oh. oh we need to go out. Figured it out. I got it. I got it. There's among other things we want to go outside and get that crystal I can see. Yeah, it's nice. It's big. This place is huge. <gasps> Wait, this place had woodworking. <gasps> That's the thing I need. And there's a chocobo keep. Don't worry about that. <laughs> the most important thing. Woodworking. Let me join. It took me so many tries to click on the Aetherite. How many people? You There's so many people instead. here. Yeah. Huh. We've got to go to Old Gradania. Oh, then, uh, come over to where I am. Where are you? Which map oh, wait, are you in? no. Sorry, is that? Nope, I'm... Never mind, I'm wrong. Don't worry about where I am. Sway. Uh. Bra. Sway. See, other dinner. way. Yeah, other way. Do, 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 do. Run. Get. Get. You can go to the Lancer's Guild or the Archery Guild. We need to go to the no, no Nofika's Altar. I'm going. We gotta get to Nofika's Altar in Old Gridania. Combat. I know, but I'm getting the first, uh, the two Aether Shards here. A uh, tuning. This, uh, the Shards, they can wait. No. Yes. Alright, I found him. It's faster. You got to go fast, Sonic. Way past cool. Now I'm coming. Bloop. Oh, Botany is also here. Oh, that's right. The conjurers get, are here. Get Botany. over here, Andrew. I gotta get that hemp. You can do Fires. that shit. You can do that shit like between sessions. Leather yeah, I'm working. coming. I'm making my way downtown. Oh yeah, and leatherworking's here. That's also something I need. This place has all the good stuff. All right. He's called the Silent Conjurer, but I feel like he's going to talk to us. He he does have some choice words to say. I wish when you're inside of a town you can just run forever. Like auto run? Yeah, like I, yeah, I just wish your sprint was always active in the town. Oh, it's not. It's not sprint. really a reason to not. I was gonna be. say there is not a run prompt. Oh yeah, I'm always, always auto running. Where, where the hell are you going there, Effie? Oh no, that's someone else. Never mind. You fool. Sprint again. 
No, 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 Alright, who's got this one? Is it a girl or a boy? I think it's, it's a, a lady. Alright. You are the Elta Envoy? Begging your pardons, ma'am, but might I inspect the missive you bear? Oh, uh, yeah, here you go. Yeah, there you go. Have Verily, it. this is the seal of the Supreme Commander of the Immortal Flames. Please come with me. Oh. I. Oh, hey, okay, voice acting? So you are the Uldan Envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome, please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. A remembrance yeah, service for the fallen of Cartano. Pray tell me, adventurer, what do you know of our conflict with the Empire? Uh -huh. <laughs> it would seem my counterparts recount the tale in some detail. That is well. Hmm? A message from the Admiral? A wolf has been sniffing around her stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I am able. But first, friend of my friend, I would tell you more of the Garlean threat. <laughs> Uh, let me tell you the top tale of my people. <laughs> For the greater part of its history, Garlmald was not even among the most influential nations of Ilzebard, the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitech, some 50 years past, helped to raise it from the depths of obscurity. Emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbors, swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. And when Olav Ilzebard lay within its grasp, it turned its ravenous gaze upon Eorzea. It's like the Fire Nation. Yet Garmald's transformation did not come about by virtue of Magitek alone. Its success owed much to the consummate leadership of its first and reigning emperor. Solus Zosgalvas, the man who built an empire in his own lifetime, Yet he has lived long, and after more than four score winters, it is said he grows frail, and ever more prone to illness. If rumors are to be believed, the matter of secession has destabilized the imperial court. This would explain the empire's relative inactivity in recent years, which has granted us much needed time to rebuild. Yet we cannot allow ourselves to become complacent. For Garlemald still maintains a presence in Eorzea, in the form of the 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding this great host is Legatus Gaius von Belsar, a man whose ambitions are well known to us. So long as he breathes Eorzean air, none of us may sleep easy. Damn. He snores very loudly. <laughs> You're right. The calamity wrecked such devastation upon the realm that it has been all we could do to nurse our wounds. Never mind rebuild our defenses. Simply put, we have not the strength to repel the Empire. To add to our woes, the Beast Tribes continue to summon their primals, whose very existence is a bane upon the land. 
Each nation is beset with its own primal problem. None has the resources to look beyond its own borders. The Admiral desires my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me that the Empire may soon resume its advance. Though the Primals pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat posed by the Garleans is greater still. Clearly each nation can no longer afford to think only of that which occurs within its own borders. A storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must... We must needs stand united once po What? That's phrase weird, isn't it? <laughs> we must needs stand united once more. A remembrance yeah, I remember this service. Is old English. Yeah, I was like, what are you saying? A remembrance service may help to rekindle the spirit of unity which once brought the peoples of Eorzea together when last the Empire threatened our liberty. The Flame General was wise to make his proposal, and I wholeheartedly approve it. The necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridania. Are those real horns or helmet horns? I think they're some sort of helmet they're, or accessory. They're real. Because the leaves look like a tiara, but the horns look like they're coming out of her head. Your work here is done, my friend. I shall send my reply to the Flame General forthwith. To the Sarlacc pit with you. I thank you for coming. <laughs> May the Twelve see you safely home. Wind up airship. Neat. This is a lot of exposition and not playing an MMO. <laughs> it's kind of impressive. Yeah. Ah, I have, I've obtained you're... minion oh. powers. How the heck do I use a whistle? Oh, yeah. you have to go to your inventory and then click on the whistle and then click use and then it activates it or puts it into your minion <clears throat> thing. So oh, here's wait, the sorry. serpent. Say that again? Okay, so go to your inventory and yep. look for the minion. So you should yep. see an airship. Click on uh, click it, go to use. Yep. Now it added it to your minion guide. Uh -huh. So now go to your minion guide and click on the airship. I don't know what button that is. Hold on. Now you got a little fly em airship. Mm, 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 mm. Then you can add it to your. You can also add it to your hot bar. Can add it to your hot bar, though it's probably better to click. Uh, Minion guide. To uh, collect more, and then to not work. have that. Because everyone has a wind up airship, and that's lame. Yeah. He makes me nervous, so I don't want him. It's like, would you like some spinning blades near you? No. <laughs> Actually, no, as it turns out. Please, oh, no. The near, they have the near autonomous one. I want that. So close to getting it. I gotta start the mission for that. Ready to talk to the next guy? Yep. Yep. The serpent officer. I pray your meeting with the Elder Seedseer went well, my Lord Envoy. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but did you not also deliver a message to Admiral Mer <laughs> While you were there, would you happen to meet Badron, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench? Gregarious gentleman, always happy to help his fellow man. Well, I am told that he has a task for a capable adventurer. I know not what the task entails, but I dare say the Flame General's personal envoy would make a fine candidate. If you're interested in learning more, pray speak with Bederon at his establishment. Okay. Alright. And teleport and Lins Mumpa Zip Zip. Fuck you, airships! Yep. Wow. I'm I don't need airships. Deeper. I can oh, just hey. teleport directly I can just to say my yes. objective. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yay. We paid our way. Mm, yeah, I, uh, fuck you, public transit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm magic. Well, technically, it's not even public. Yeah. Uh, oh, right, because no almost everyone gets almost no one gets to, to actually be in an airship. Yeah. Boop. And go upstairs. We are returned. To the drowning winch. Which is up at the top. At the top, up, pop it up, 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 at the top. So many people wearing squalls clothes because they, they want to be in a boy band too. Look, Squall has good... like one of the most real life costumes of any Final Fantasy character. He does, yeah, that is it's, true. It's you could just see it in normal life and you'd be like, damn, that looks expensive. <laughs> Whereas any other person, you'd be like, what are you wearing? <laughs> How did you? How did you wear that? <laughs> That's not true. My outfit's from uh, Final Fantasy IX. It's pretty. Can normal. you imagine a normal life person walking around dressed as Titus? Uh, no, no. That's everyone in Final Fantasy X dressed like a lunatic. Yeah. Um. Except maybe Yuna. Yuna is. Was just a dress, probably wasn't eccentric, it? Probably eccentric, but not. Quite it's not Lulu. Not 50, weird. Yeah. Five hundred belts. <laughs> Hey, look, you know, Loon decked out in Lulu furs. was a very precious woman, alright? Lulu, Lulu. Where is the Andwu? I am getting uh, some crafts. Some crafts? Some crafts. We gotta do quests. We're here to do quests, not crafts. Well, <clears throat> you can do both. How else am I gonna get forging for armor? and make use of this mining skill that I have. And also, uh, I wanna talk to, oh no, I can't. What level do I have to be to talk to this guy? 30, uh, should, I, should I just read it? Yeah, you can go ahead and read it. I'll be there in a second. Welcome to the Drowning Wench. Sit wherever you like, mate. It'll be with you in a, huh? I am Baruin, right? Who's asking? Ah, but I've got a job for a capable venture, though, you say. Well, you're bloody right. Just so you're fairly warned, though, there ain't no job for the fate of heart. Things are liable to be done right bleed and airy. But if you think you're still interested, let me know, and I'll fill you in on the details. We get to pick an upgrade now? Well, that one gives uh, me plus 13, so probably the- oh, wait, that's for paladins. Oh no! All of his items are Garbo. Yeah, all of his items are Garbo. I'm taking the out. I'm taking the, money. the money. Give me the money. Aha! I thank you for taking the time to help me out. Now I'm not sure you, and I'm sure you're busy, but I'll come straight to the point. What is that some suspicious-looking buggers have been sneaking in and out of the Satasha Sea God, and I've got. And I need a trustworthy sort to end up the just trustworthy sort to eat up north to add up north to the airport and find out who then uh, who they are and what they're up to. Don't sound like much, I know, but it weren't so long ago the flash the fishbacks pet pirates paid us an unwelcome visit, and folk are feeling a bit nervous. If you would permit me. Master Bedron, I should be happy to elaborate. Yeah. Well, well, if it, if it ain't the Chief Yellow Jacket himself, to what do I owe this rare honor, Commodore Rayner? Do you make sh uh, come to make sure my patrons are behaving or just thirsty? Neither. In fact, <laughs> I was informed that you had requested an adventurer to assist in my investigation. And I came to offer what information I could sift from recent reports. Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Aleport, in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after, the squa after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region. A sat uh, sast sastasha? Sastasha? Sastasha. sastasha? Sastasha? A Sastasha yeah. uh, Sigrot. Sigrot included. 
Their search revealed little, save that a family of quills had taken up residence in the caves. Nothing to concern us, in short. In light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Sata... Uh, Sat... Sat... <laughs> Sastasha. God damn it. Sastasha, <laughs> like again. <what's... laughs> yeah. But with the... With the Sharingan test of uh, <laughs> testing our defenses daily, I am loath to assign the task to the limited forces of my, at my disposal. Our line is stretched as it is. Thus I sought the services of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Uh -huh. And it is settled. <clears throat> Sata uh, Satasha is located in Western Lanosia. For more information, for more detailed instructions on how to reach the place, I suggest you consult Ve <laughs> Vamelpa, I guess. Me. What on earth? Melchan. She can be found at the ferry docks in the lower decks. You're the man. Oh, that's your guy. You are the man. Good luck to you, lad. That. That. <laughs> you okay? Can't you that? That's a lot of. There's a lot There's of a lot. Words. These names are pranks. Oh. These are prank Ugh. names. I can't. I where's can't. Vla I'm not. Where's Valempa? Um, downstairs. Gotta go to the lower decks. Yeah, you gotta go to the uh, the docks. Whee! So has was that? That's the sass was that? It's like one of those Zelda games has like a Sahashra Lashra party like character. Sahashra yeah. Sahashra Lin. Right. <laughs> nope. Go back. There we go. Um I can figure this out. I believe in me. <clears throat> Went the wrong way. Oh, for crying out loud, Andrew. I was following you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should know more about Limsa, but I always forget about Limsa. Limsa has some really weird and odd ways to get around. Oh, well, no worries. While we're over here, we can go get baking. <laughs> God damn it. It's important to have all of the crafting abilities. Well, I'll be there first, I guess. Apparently. Should yeah, should right 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 If you know how to fisher... cook, you can. I've got my hand on the fisherman's bottom. There we go. I found Vamelpa. Don't tell the fisherman's wife that. I think I found the fisherman's wife. <laughs> Hello, Vamalpa. Wow, I, I really got a head start on making it here, huh? There we go, we made it. <clears throat> you hear about Commodore Radner's investigation? Then you'll want to bo board a ferry bound for Elport. Once you arrive in Western Lenoska, though, you'll pay a visit to the Hall of the Novice before you blunder into Sestasha. The Adventurer's Guild runs the hall, and the folks here will prepare you, train you, with the skills you need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in Sigrot. The hall is on the way to Sestasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside, and one of the seasoned adventurers will take you in, in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Oh, I think we're about to... we're almost close to getting our first, uh, zone. Zone? Or our first, uh, duty. Duty. Hey, duty. Wait, we're going, wait, we're going down to Western, I guess? No, talk to this guy. I'm just gonna wrap this right, Sorry, quick. talk to the fairy skipper. Right here. This little, this little, this little baby boy. And then purchase the passage to Aleport. Yeah. Are we going to the Hall of the Novice? No. Are we? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, Hall of the Novice in Aleport. Yeah. Try 
trust me, I just helped someone else get through all this. <laughs> and then after the Hall of Novice, we go up and then we get our first duty. And then we can go do our first duty. duty. It's really fun. Duty. I'm just kidding, it's not. It's actually really boring, but it's okay. It's got thrills, excitement. Wait. Where do I have? How the hell do we? Talk to the little fairy guy. Oh, the fairy skipper. Duh. Skull Valley. Who moves to a place called something like Skull Valley? Well, that's why they built Aleport right outside. Tank, DPS, and healer. All right, you don't usually see those names, just surface level in the game. Specifically DPS. They should call it like damage or something. And you're welcome to talk to him. They'll teach you about what you're supposed to do. They didn't talk about me with shit. Then you've already learned all you need to learn. Hooray! Ah! <laughs> Is that the show on your screen too? Yeah. It's it's like, <laughs> that's a big flash, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Hey, you ever listen to the Beatles? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've got their record. <laughs> All it is is a toggle that makes me take 10% less damage. <laughs> it's not, it's just really underwhelming. All right, I'm here. Yep. Let's talk Be to him. You got a seasoned adventurer. Ah, you voice. must be the adventurer of whom the Yellow Jacket sent word. I heard you are to brave the depths of Sestasha secret. The occupants of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No wonder what the epic tales would have you believe. Strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions. And you shall need the training we here at the Hall of the Novice can provide. I strongly suggest you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smiths here oversees... The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him, and you can register for exercises tailored to the particular field of, exper of expertise. Wait, you mean is, we're getting a forced tutorial this late in the game? What? Is this, a, is this a tutorial where they teach us how to be in a party for a dungeon? Yeah. When you have mastered all of our ma all that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mouth of Sata S Sastasha Sigrun, and he will furnish you with the details of your duty. Um, All right, let's go talk to Satasha. Dun -dun 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 do we dun -dun have to do this tutorial? Nope. Okay. There's a fate right here. Sound like do I think we already know how well. to play our here. characters. <laughs> uh, okay. Pretty low level fate, but. Oh, yeah, it's guys level 12? This is bullying. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Absolutely. Wouldn't have it any other way. I know it's a pew. Ew, a pew catchling. <laughs> Disgusting. Takes a whole, brings a whole new meaning to I wish your mother swallowed you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's probably why he's born, because she couldn't swallow him. Oh, no. Puked him up. Puke catchling is what you find in the toilet after you eat really bad uh, oh, no. uh, gas station food. Ba -ba -da. Decent amount of experience. 120th of a level. I might need to do a little bit of grinding at some point to catch up to you guys, because I'm a little behind you. How? I don't know. You're only one level behind. Yeah, but I'm about uh, 6,000 experience behind you guys or so. Maybe seven. 
Yeah. You can always do the Hall of Heroes stuff then. Yeah, I know. All right. Please tell uh, me you're here on yellow jacket duty, and not some daft sod out for a stroll. I can't take any more of this blasted waiting. You are? Thank the gods. I assume you already know about the ship seen slipping around the Isles of Umbra? No. We've been on the lookout for pri pirate activity ever since that vessel was sighted, thinking a crew of cutthroats might have a den nearby. So when we received word that the men of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Sestasha here, we weren't entirely surprised. I've yet to see them for myself, but if this lot belongs to those fishback fancy serpent reavers, well, you can imagine the panic it'll cause. The kidnappings are still fresh in people's minds. Anyway, your task is to poke around the caves and find out exactly who we're dealing with. While you do that, I'll be keeping watch out here. Praying you don't spot any fa blue face tattoos. Use the duty finder to enter Sestasha. Duty finder! <laughs> duty. Sestasha hey, is now accessible. Hey, we get to do raids now. Well fed. Uh, yeah. I assume you can just tell um, us how to do these because go click you've here. done them before. Boop. How big are and parties in this game? Four. Uh, up to eight. Oh. Actually. Uh, it depends on what you're. Yeah, it'll tell you what uh, how big the party is because some of them only require four, which is a light party. Do I just hit and join? Some require it. Yep. And then just press Y to auto join and we can Duh. automatically get in because we have four people in our party. Do I just hit oh, commence just... then? Yep. Yep, Oop. just hit commence. Oop, there we go. Hey, we have to do our first party raid thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right. Time to finally play um, the Dead Mines. Is that the first one? Also, that was yeah. a very violent vibration for my controller when that, opened, yes. that menu opened up. Oh, I don't, I don't remember it vibrating at all. Am I, am I, is my turn on? Ooh. This, this place, place is looks neat. Nice. Ah. <laughs> that looked not good. What the fuck was that? All right. See, you can't leave oh, this drink until thing. everybody's. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Enjoy tanking, tank. I'm also here. Yeah. So do you have like a th uh, resource like rage or something that you're managing to let you use threat? Uh, <coughs> no. Like how do tanks? <laughs> so tanks is just doing the most amount of damage. Uh, I do have a, uh, what's it called? I do, I do have a provoke, but I don't have. Oh, I do need to actually, there we go. Do you not have your tanking thing turned on or something? Yeah, I forgot to turn on my tanking thing. I was like, these bats are have a very loose relationship with the tank. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. I had it on before, I guess it turned it off when we traveled here. Oh yeah, as you mentioned that, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have my, blah, my Beatles album. Stuff just turns off periodically. Oh, that time uh, it's counting down. <laughs> you find a bloodstain scarf. The captain likes his wine red. Okay. The yeah. captain likes his wine red. Every word is spelled strangely. Was that a clue? Yeah. Was the words being spelled wrong the clue? Yeah. Or is that just timing? I'm coming. For the first time I'm thinking about DPS and I'm like, I have no idea if I'm doing good DPS or not. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> Thanks for you never will. <laughs> we have a very high level healer, so 
There's a very, very low chance you'll die. A level lock to us. Yeah, we're all level 18. All, in no, fact, I'm all, saying, yeah, all but of us, all of us de leveled. <laughs> Keep running. I think we were all Keep 21 running. before. Alright, this should be good enough. Weird, creepy, grabby jellyfish with little hands. Yeah, they got little baby hands. Trying to hug me. I won't let you hug me, scary jellyfish. It's, it is a little hard to tell which side's the front and which side's the back when they're a weird blob monster. It's like, oh, right, yes, I will, I will attack them from behind. Aha, you have to attack the giant clam when their mouth opens. Fuck him up! There we go. That's the plan. So how does Lemon Break work again? <clears throat> uh, so once the bar completely fills up, then you can use uh, Limit Break to send a giant fuck you beam to uh, an enemy. And you usually want to wait and use it on the boss, but since we only have one limit break bar, we'll probably use it. Uh, we might use it no. earlier than that, but. There we go. Fuck you, clam! But yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty chill. Straightforward attack spam at the moment. Yeah. Sometimes my lock on no work and I don't know why. It's just like, nah, bruh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, it, it really be that way. Dead clan. All my homies hate giant clam. Oh, I was hoping stunning it would make it not close. <laughs> it was like, instead, I closed. So when you see this purple line, this means uh, there's a boss behind it. So, hmm. uh, so what happens is usually there'll be a boss here that you can see and you go like, haha, I get it. It's the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, oops, that wasn't There's the a right switch one. Behind the red coral. Oh, it's yeah. this. Because he either prefers red wine. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the clue. Press Click. it. Press it. Press it. Click. Yep. Watch what out. What we rot? A lion! The cattery will be sealed off. Whoa! No. No. My lock on no work. Why no, why no lock on work? Oh, right, because I have to not be holding right trigger when I lock on. It's really hard to remember. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I'd be like, why?
Well, he's not gonna last. No. Sorry, Chopper. Sorry, bub. The cat hey, is no it's... longer sealed. <laughs> Goodbye, dinosaur cat Cthulhu face. And then it has the same looting rules as WoW does. Ooh! Well, you just take it? Yeah, you can greed or need. Or ignore. But there is a, uh... What's it called? There's a really good, uh... Yeah! Got the things. Hello, people! You want to die? Here we go! <clears throat> I'm unclear on how the enemies list works. There's a thing that generates the enemies list, but it's... Right, right, right now it shouldn't show all three of them, but it only shows one enemy. Oh, it's that dog stock sound. Yeah. Like, obviously, with the, the top of my screen is the enemy's health bar, because that's the target. But then on the left side of my screen, a weird little, like, like it's, it's like the party screen. It's like the party interface, but for enemies. But it keeps only showing, like, one when there's, like, a whole enemy party. And I'm like, I see and I'm like, all huh? three. Oh, yeah, this time I see three. But with the dogs, I only saw they, one. Oh, this probably because there was multiple. They, they were the same enemy. Weird. But this time I have two Reavers. Oh, yeah, I don't know then. Might have just been a glitch. Oh, they populate once you hit them. Gotcha. Fuck you, Madison. Fuck you specifically, Madison. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very specifically. What does that mean? <laughs> Extra, extra care was put into saying fuck you to that person. Mm -hmm. Alright, run. Try and catch me a two-legged lubber. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, just like dead, just like in WoW, Dead Mines. It's, uh, the first dungeon is, uh, is pirates. <laughs> yeah. At Yar. level 15, specifically. That's like one to one. Oh right, I shouldn't. I did not lead my way into into places. That could go poorly for me. Instead, this reaver shall get fucketh up. A scurvy dog. Oh god, that's what dogs look like to them. They're terrifying. Yeah. They're kind of scary. But it's okay. I, yeah, I'd still pet it. They still sound like dogs when you kill them. No, that's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> we got a raw deal here. It's got a little, it's got a little bandana on its neck. I, I guess we could. I like uh, gremlin-y bat monsters. Open up, bum. Gotta kick your ass. Well, he's a big guy. Let's fuck him up! You know what they say. The bigger they are, the louder their farts. <laughs> well. 
me this key. You gassy garbage person. Go. You're probably basically sleepwalking through this. Yeah. <laughs> How many times have you done this? A lot. Uh, there's a couple of, um, well, one, I've, I've started over characters a lot, but, or not started over characters, but I started over classes a few times, but also, uh, sometimes there are, um, like little, you know, events going on that require you to go through specific dungeons to do stuff. And this was one of them. Nope, last line. It's Madison. Hey, Fuck you, yeah, Madison. Madison. All right, we'll kick your ass. You'll kick your people's asses again, real quick. Madison, you big old dummy. Big crits, yeah. I'm getting exclamation point numbers. <laughs> Hope you guys remember to eat food before you came in here. Nope. Oh. Missing out on that 3% experience increase. Oh, here comes dogs. Oh lord. And they've got scurvy because they don't even have the oranges. <laughs> Madison, are you not feeding your dogs? <laughs> Can dogs get scurvy? I mean... Now I'm wondering. Maybe. I'm not gonna test it, but like... Coward. <laughs> Hi everyone, Michael from Vsauce here. We're here to test whether or not dogs can get scurvy. So I went to the shelter and bought 15 dogs. <laughs> Let's battle it out. God. Oh, you just consume food instantly in this game. Yeah. I like the idea of like, hi, this is Vsauce. We're going to check if dogs can get scurvy and battle it out. My guest commentator today is Mike Vick. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. Hey, everyone. Michael here. <laughs> Join with me. It's Michael. It's all Michaels from down. It's all Michaels all the way down. I feel like the most recent video gave me anxiety. From who? There's suddenly a new Vsauce video after a long time of not much. But like, it's just, his videos are such a stream of consciousness of random dissociated topics that have nothing to do with each other based on word association at best. And at some point I'm just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> help, <laughs> help. What are we talking about? What's happening? The thread. I think Have I kind of enjoyed it? the vacation into minefield where stuff had a fucking topic <laughs> and a coherent through line. Because that's not what Vsauce is. Yeah. Like, I just watched him make three seasons of a show that were coherent, and then he went back and made some more Vsauce episodes, and I'm like, What's happening? Help me! I'm lost at sea and no one is coming to help. Is that land? Oh no, it's just more wordplay. <laughs> All right. So in the moment we enter the boss chambers, we'll get a second limit break meter. And then when that fills all the way up, then we can go and kill them, or use it on the boss, and kill him good. Apparently dogs can't get scurvy because they just naturally produce vitamin C. Can I... Can I have that? Nope. You get thumbs. Aww. <laughs> For peeling oranges. No! <clears throat> oh. Murlocs. 
I am Murloc. I am death. Okay, so the unnatural ripples. I don't remember those lyrics enemies, anymore. Enemies will spawn there. Um, so just be cognizant of that. From the coast of Westfall to oh, Black Fathom Deep. Silent, I will hunt you. Silent, I will creep. <laughs> Remember that level 70 wow. elite Turin chieftain shit? Yeah. Rogues do it from behind. <laughs> can I stun this guy? Oh, I can stun this guy. Well, call it me impressed. He's half dead already. Bubbles begin to form on the water's surface. Yeah, people spawning. Stun. Not fast enough to save him at this rate. <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, I don't think we're getting our second meter. Crap. Didn't get you that good over there? In time. Limit break. Oh. Well, he dead. <laughs> Ding. Up. Yeah. That was Random quick. Random choir edition is yeah. not necessary. Well, I had to come up with a, like a you beat a dungeon sound. And Lord Man. knows they're not going to make new jingles. No. Cast your lot. <laughs> Ooh. What? You already possess one of that unique item. Do I? <laughs> Uh, recommended gear, go. Oh yeah, I do, I'm already wearing that. Alright. I don't get any load. <laughs> Try harder. They should just let you apply glamour plates everywhere, fuck it. <laughs> Keith, they need to give you some restraint well that was very quick. some reason yeah they're not duties usually aren't long unless they're if they're eight if they're eight party and you can't skip the cutscenes, then they're fucking long if duties are long like, you should probably be eating more fiber like the one that i did which was a fucking hour long duty even if we even though we were skipping all of it the one where you spend like Three hours watching a guy get into a mech. <laughs> yes. <laughs> while monologuing at you. Yeah, and then you watch as the team melts him in like less than five minutes. You're like, oh no, the cutscene was longer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you farm them. Yeah, and then you have to do it multiple times. The it was worth it. I got, that, I got that wolf mountain. I loved it. Wait, we just want to teleport back, don't we? Uh, yeah, Drowning Wench is just back in Limsa, 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 Up, Limsa. Yeah, if we teleport back, we'll be by the lift. Oh no, did I get a local teleporter? I don't remember. I... Ow. Ow. me. Uh, let's see... You were at the the first duty? Why? No, they're probably talking about the one we were talking about. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. You should not. Okay. 
That sweet XP. If I needed XP, I wouldn't be farming it on that garbage ass fucking duty. Oh, I can actually do my glamour plate. Cha ching Yep. Reapply at every convenient moment. And some inconvenient Yay. ones. All that matters is I'm back to normal. Hello, green man. <laughs> Aye, such a task was on the books. Was, mind. I'm afraid the ship's already sailed, friend. Dolor Dolorous Bear? <laughs> this character. Weird green paladin man. Aye, might you be the adventurer who accepted the job of investigating Satasha? Hmm. It would seem this ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbor. None for none the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. Ah, no matter. The wheel will turn and our chance will come. You are right, of course. But there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Sleep, great leader. Oh God! Step on Our it. Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism that, as will earn us a place in the songs of every alehouse in, in Eorzea, we mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as of yet unborn to follow our shining example. Do you have such a goal, large or small? It matters not. It matters not. Only a star to have reach for, and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through tough through times of hardship. Keep our uh, keep your eye on the prize, and all obstacles will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad, would you? Well, goals uh, goals are as arms and armor are for the spirit. I wish you fortune in your endeavors, milady. Milady, milady. Look at all this weird uh, blue booze. <laughs> Back then, are you? With all your limbs and a tail to tell, I'll wager. It's just all Nuka Cola. You're right, I was about to say that. That reminds me of the Nuka Cola. Romulan and Ale, but I mean, that works too. Fishbacks. Now I was thinking you'd have to crack a pirate school or seven. Seven hells. You turn your back for five bloody minutes and the scaly bastards instead of shopping your bleeding doorstep. Still, sounds like you left them in pieces. So I don't suppose they'll be carrying out whatever mischief they were planning. Unless they were planning on feeding themselves to the fauna of Sustasha, of course. Anyway, all well's, is well's, all's well that ends well. On behalf of Limsa, I thank you for shedding some light on this mystery. You've lived up to your reputation, and I couldn't ask for no more than that. Now I'll bet you're dying for a rest. But just in case you're not, I was wondering if you might be interested in taking another job. If it just so happens, I've had a request from our sister guild in Gridania, see. Seems the folk, the forest folk are in need of an adventurer that can get things done. Them to ask for help like this, you can bet the task won't be no skip through the sunny glade. But after a way, the way you dealt with our fishback infestation, I doubt it's anything you can't handle. Give us a shout when you're ready, and I'll lay in and out for you. Is this another dungeon? Uh, probably. I don't remember party, party finder, finder unlocked. unlocked you can now play with it, people i think it might be why would i want to do that all i know is it is now yeah very late yeah yeah we just i mean we yeah. just got pretty uh actually let's see how far did we get in story quest final fantasy is it time to call it quits for a night? Yeah, probably. So. Bloopity bloop, 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 bloopy bloop. <sighs> call, 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 call of the forest. Um, kind of seems rude. That guy's just in the middle of the inn, just working away. Nah, it's cool. 
Everybody loves that he does that. Yeah, <laughs> they love um, it. Yeah, so we're we're still a little yeah. So the next quest will get us uh, not this one, not Call of the Forest, uh, but the quest after it will give us another dungeon, and then two more after that will give us another dungeon, and then uh, like ten more after that we get mounts. So yay. And go ahead and show this session ending with me actually going to bed. By going to bed.